And then this is another net torque application problem where we're going to be solving for the maximum mass that can be held up uh, given the diagram of a beam supported with a, a, ten, a cable with tension on it and a sign hanging from the kind of right side of the beam. So this one tells us that the cable will break if the tension reaches 2300 newtons. We want to know the largest mass that we can hang from the beam. The beam is 150 kilograms, 8 meters long. The cable makes an angle of 50. Just remember, just it's not very clear. That's where the 50 degrees is. And the sine is 5.5 meters from the left. So, uh, first thing we do always, if we consider kind of a net torque problem or problem like this, is label where forces are. So, there's a force kind of at the hinge, whatever's joining these two objects together, there's an upward component to that force. The middle of the beam, there's a force of gravity associated with it. The sine is going to have a weight and pull down, and the force of tension upwards is going to pull up from the edge of the beam. So, like similar problems, there's four forces. I'm going to label them F1, F2, F3, F4. So we're trying to solve for mass. I could set up a net force equation, and I could incorporate the mass in it. But what I will be missing is F1. So I still have one equation and two unknowns. That's not going to work. So I'm going to go to my net torque relationship. And a reminder that everywhere there's a force, there's a torque. The first torque is 0 because it's placed at the pivot point. Torque 2 is, would make a clockwise rotation. So it's a negative value. Torque 3 would make a clockwise rotation. So it's a negative value. Torque 4, down here in the end, would make a counterclockwise rotation, so that would be a positive value of the torque. So torque net equals torque 1, add it to torque 2, torque 3, and torque 4. Let's just kind of visualize what's going to happen here. Torque net is 0, T1 is 0. T2 will be negative distance from the edge. Remember, torque is RF sine theta, or I should say, are F perpendicular, so the perpendicular component of the force acting on the beam. Now, all of these forces are perpendicular, so really it's just RF. So T2 would be RF, R is going to be 4, halfway to the out from the edge. The beam's 8, so half that's 4. Mass of the beam is 150, so don't forget your 9.81 if you're given mass to make that force. Plus torque 3, that's from the sign. Oh, sorry, not, not plus, minus. Okay, the torque will be negative. So that will be minus. Uh, distance from the edge is 5.5. The mass we don't know, but don't forget your 9.81 to make it the force of gravity. Move that a little bit this way. And in the end, we've got a uh, 8 meters times F4. Now, unlike other problems we did, F4 we can calculate. So I'm going to do that right below here in green. Looking at the trigonometry, we have tension in the cable of 2300. We have the angle. So F4 is going to be the magnitude of the tension sine of the angle. Okay. So that's 2300 sine 50. So the upward component of tension that's kind of pulling this rod counterclockwise, it is 2300 times sine 50, and that's 1762. And that's my F4. So don't forget to multiply that by 8. So I'll rewrite this out a little bit. 0 equals negative 4 times 150 oops negative 4 times 150 times 9.81 equals negative 5886 minus 5.5 .5 times 9.81 54 m remember the m is what we're looking for the largest mass and then plus here at the end, 1762 times 8, 14,096. So remember, you don't be worried that there's a negative in front of our, uh, of, in front of our M, okay? Don't be worried about that.
since we took proper account into the torque rotation, mass should automatically work out to be positive. If it doesn't work out to be positive, then we made a mistake somewhere. Okay, so a simple little equation, solve for M, uh, collect my like terms, bring them to the left. So on the left side, I have negative 8 to 10. On the right, I have negative 54M. Divide both sides, I get a positive 152. And mass always comes out to be kilograms for working with newtons and meters. So solving for maximum mass, summarize the steps. Uh, label your forces, label your torques, use your net torque equation. Put everything you know in there. Remember that torque for any one, at any one, for torque anywhere there's a force, it's R, F, sine, theta. Uh, all of our angles are 90 degrees where our, our forces meet the rod. So those sine, theta work out to be one. So it's just really R, F. And then uh, careful with your values. Solve for your upward component of your tension. Make sure you do that to make it 1762. Work through and solve for the mass.